Welcome to another video. This is your instructor, Armas Kanfu from SuperSQA.com. In this video, we're going to discuss what is QA or QE. Okay, so there are several terminologies you might have heard that refers to the same thing. So QA is the most common one, I would say, and it stands for quality assurance. And a lot of times you can also hear QE, and which is quality engineering. I think that's even more appropriate because you're an engineer. And you might have also heard SDET, um, not as common as the abbreviation is not as common, but you might have heard SDET. A lot of times job postings would use SDET, uh, which stands for software development engineer and test. You might have also heard software tester, automation engineer, manual test engineer. All of those are terminologies that refer to pretty much the same thing. You know, there might be s subtle differences, but they talk about the same thing. And a QA is responsible for quality of a product. Okay, I'm going to repeat, repeat it on this screen. Responsible for quality of a product. That says a lot right there. It's a critical component of HDLC, which stands for Software Development Life Cycle. When you're building software, when you're developing software, it's a cycle. There's a life cycle. There's a whole process, right? And the QA is a major part of that process. A QA is a gatekeeper of the engineering team. If a QA says no, that's no, right? So when there is changes, when there is a new product, the QA is the gatekeeper. The QA is what who's going to approve that the product is ready to be released. So if a QA say the product is not ready, that's not ready. Nobody really can override it, right? I mean, the QA, that's the main purpose of having a QA in the team. So QA does testing, uh, releasing, coordinating, a whole lot of things. We, we're going to have a whole different video dedicated for that just to talk about what the job looks like for QA. So we're going to look at an example of testing, right? So when we say what testing a software, what do we mean testing a software? So let's look at facebook.com, right? Just as an example, because everybody knows facebook.com, what it is. Let's look at the web app, right? What would you be testing for if you're testing Facebook? So you can test for kind of valid user login. Does a wrong password show a correct error message? Can a logged in user post a picture? Can a logged in user post a video? Can a logged in user send a message? Is the heading spelled correctly, right? Is the heading color correct? All the items that should be in the heading, are they there? So those are just very few test cases. Those are called test cases. We're, gonna, we're also going to discuss those. And uh, that's how you test it, right? And you can imagine if you think the whole um, application, the whole Facebook, you can have thousands and thousands and thousands of tests, right? So uh, these are just very basic and to give you an idea what it means when we are actually testing a software. Let's look at the mobile app version of Facebook. So when we're testing the mobile app, what are we testing for, right? So all of the things we just tested before, they're valid. So same as, same as above. But in addition to that, the mobile has its own properties, right? So for example, notifications. You might want to test, do notifications show up? Do they look right? Is the spelling right? The message right? You want to, there's different types of notifications. So you're going to test every single type of notification you have to. Uh, location services, right? That's like on the web app, it's not as common. I mean, the browser does use location services, but on the mobile app, it's way more, uh, way more important. So does a location service work correctly? Does calling from the app work correctly? Is the color, the font, the shape, the size, is, is it correct? So those are the type of things you test on the mobile app or for Facebook or for any app, really, right? Let's look at another example. Let's say CNN.com which is a web app. They have, of course, a mobile app, but let's just focus on the web app. What would you test for? You can test for is the header displayed? Does scrolling work on the page, right? Make sure the page is not stuck. Uh, there's a button for next page. Does it work? Uh, does the menu in the header work? Does the register button work, right? You should get an idea what I mean. There are literally thousands of things you can test on a single page if you want. But when you think about the entire app, then there's really a lot of uh, test cases. So in a nutshell, that's what QA is. You are testing the software does what it's supposed to do or it can handle errors the way it's supposed to handle errors, right? But that's just part of it. And then you deal with a lot more related to the entire process of releasing a software, okay? So we, we are gonna discuss a lot more about that, but in this video, I just wanna give you an overview of what a QA or a testing really is.